Hey y'all, so this is the video that y'all mostly requested a get ready with us. So we decided to kind of take y'all through the motions and the steps of how we do, would you say this is everyday makeup? Yeah, I'd say everyday. Pretty day. much everyday makeup. But usually day to day going to work, we don't really wear eyeshadow much, mm -hmm. but we're going to do some eyeshadow for y'all today. And as y'all can see, our faces do not match our bodies because we do fake tan as well as we love that Jergens. We use the Jergens Forming firming moisturizer medium to tan and that just gives you a really even glow we aren't topless we have crop tops on so just so y'all know so let's get started first you have some lip some chapstick yes first we always do some chapstick i love the um what's that lip mask the laneige one the mm -hmm. sleep the lip sleeping mask or something it's in my bathroom i had to move all my stuff into randy's room but that's what I put on at night and my lips stay refreshed all night yeah that's some good stuff so are we gonna prime I got me a sample of that and it's good yes primer? so I'm gonna use the cover fx calming primer because I just worked out and I've got a little bit of rosiness going on there and this eliminates redness yeah, I just got the sample of the oh. um smashbox I'll let we you both, use it no I have one too oh you do smashbox blurring primer and it is amazing so this I one supposedly oh, fills in the pores. Yeah, I, I it think it really like it does. does. I think it gives a true blurring effect. Okay, so we know um, some people have problems with dark circles. That's me. So I'm going to use mm -hmm. the Naked Skin by Urban Decay. The color correcting fluid in peach. I use that before I put on my foundation to just help conceal some of the dark circles. Do you want to I use should. No, I don't want today, but I should use that because it's kind of peachy looking. I got some... But peach color corrects darkness. Oh my god. Just like green so color good. corrects redness or that kind of thing. The stuff you learn at Sephora. Yep. I'm using my beauty blenders. Of course y'all know our favorite is the classic beauty blender. But I also recently got the Morphe um, beauty blender. There's two of these. There's one that's shaped more like a figure eight. And then there's this one. I like this one. It's really good. It has this flat tip and then it has the I think angle it's the highlight contour one. Highlight right? contour, yeah, probably. You know better than me, but um I've really been liking it. It just the only difference between it and the beauty blender, it feels a little more solid than the Is beauty it blender. I'm gonna go with the one I mentioned on our first video, the Born This Way Too Faced Shade Light Beige. I love this one. It's a medium to full coverage um, and you can build onto it to make that full Your, coverage. Her face looks like porcelain when she wears it. Makes, it. She looks like a porcelain doll. It literally makes you look flawless. I'll probably end up buying it. I'm going to use the YSL one, the All Hours, oh, and it's got SPF 20 in it. It's 24 hour wear. It says flawless matte, but this to me is more of like, it's not dewy, it's not matte, it's like in seamless between. is what I call oh. it. Um, in the shade B45 Bisque, and yeah, I'm going to be darker for a minute, but I'm going to highlight and stuff. So yeah, I know I'm going to be looking like a base face, but I'll fix it. I don't know if you're supposed to hit your face with the beauty blender this hard, but Is I Is that do. why they call it beating your face? <laughs> <laughs> Always make sure you don't have a base face. Nobody wants a base face, so blend that on down, sister. <laughs> Whoa. And I would say the coverage for the YSL is sheer to medium. Sheer to medium? But it's buildable, be so... It says it's full, but to me, compared to other foundations I've used, like Makeup Forever, um, what's that one we used to always wear? Uh, Matte, matte Velvet? Matte Velvet. Compared to oh that, Oh my god, Matte Velvet, though, that sheer. used to be like our favorite. That's all we would wear when we worked at Sephora. And everyone would say, what's on y'all's face? It looks flawless. We stayed, Makeup forever, we velvet. stayed sold out in yes. velvet. We were, I think, shade 35 or 45 when we were dark. Yeah. But yeah. And I went ahead and did my brows off camera because they were half done oh already God. from when I went to the gym. Did you put it on your eyelids? No, I'm going to put this on my eyelids oh, since hell. I haven't... Um, eyeshadow for the first time and i bring forever. it down like right here like. okay so moving on to my concealer i'm using the born this way multi-use sculpting concealer i've heard there's two concealers by them so i'm using this one Sorry. and i love it it's fine it's comparable to tarte 
um, shape tape, I feel like. Just more, more hydrating. Yes, it is. It does feel a little more hydrating. And shape tape, I never thought I'd say this, but it's a little too cakey for me. It is cakey, and we I like, like full As face. we've gotten older, we like a little more natural, but yeah. I usually mix these two, so the Born This Way that she was just talking about, and then the Naked Skin Weightless in Fair Warm, because I really like to look highlighted under the eyes. Yeah. So I usually just mix them, and my neck is not as dark as this foundation is, so I really gotta lighten it up a bit. Oh, oh my god, I just slung a drop on my black Lulu pan. Hurry and wipe it off. I didn't know you got a makeup wipe. That tickles. Get it fast. I dude. am. It's soaking Go in. Hard. It's soaking in. Thank you. It's still okay. there, but. Okay, right. so then. Are you doing like, I have to blend under my eyes first. Like, it's like I have to do it. Oh, if I don't, I feel like it eyes. throws me off. I look like a native. And bring it up on my eyelid for eyeshadow. Oh, you're saying before you like blend the chin or before yeah, you, before I blend anything, I like to blend under eye first. Usually, I've tried it different ways, like oh doing gosh, chin first. Getting in the way, but I think I put too much on. But whatever, I'm pale anyway, so excuse our faces made throughout this video. I'm not even thinking about it, so there's probably mean? some ugly faces going on. Like, oh, your expression. Yeah. Hey, in this video, you can teach me how to nose contour better. <laughs> do you ever nose contour? Uh, I, I'm like, I do it quick, like a little quickie nose contour because mm -hmm. I just... A quickie uh, nose contour? I mean, we haven't done our makeup sitting beside each other in so long. Oh my God, yes. Like, so she, she may have some new tricks <laughs> in her bag of tricks that I hadn't learned yet. So maybe or I'll vice versa, today. probably. Maybe I'll learn today. Yeah, when we lived in Huntsville and we went to Sam, we'd always do our makeup together before we went to work at Sephora in our bathroom. And we'd either try to do the same or we'd like to go different. Oh my brows. gosh, I just put concealer all over that brow. Whatever. Okay. So I've been using falsies and our ride or dies are usually Samantha number 20. Put a beauty Samantha number 23? 23 or 28 looks like kind of the same. Um, Jordan, Jordan told me about them a while back. She found them and now like that's all we like to wear usually. They've always been my favorite. Yeah. So of course I got into on, not into them. Of course, I was interested in them because we wear the same stuff. Are you like cutting this right here or are you wait until you bronze? I usually just go. Because I don't oh, like that too white. My eyelids already creasing. I just need just a Oh my god, I'm getting powder all over I just my that. leggings. So just setting the whole face. Just kind of going all oh, around. Oh, setting the whole face? I usually put translucent lightly over my whole face just because I don't Look how wanna... little this brush is I'm working with here. I got this in an Ipsy bag back in my go-to. No, I'm kidding, like two years you ago. You asked me something that you didn't listen to. So what'd you say? You said you set your whole face. I said, yeah. Yeah, I heard you. Okay, we bronzing? Okay, now we're gonna bronze. Let's tell them our favorite I've so seen far. in a lot of videos, they're saying bronzing is different than contouring. Oh. I just go one go. Yeah. We love this Tarte Park Avenue Princess. And it's got a little chain, little chain. <laughs> so we love it. Gorgeous color. Not doesn't have any red or orangey looking it's undertones. It's got shimmer in it, which and I like. I'm using an angled brush. It's an old BH Cosmetics brush. We've I had still use that. Isn't that funny? Yes, that is funny. I mean, now we're just going right on that cheekbone. Get in there. I do get in there. Go big or go and home. And if I'm really dark, go I'll really... Go bronze or go home. <laughs> if I'm really dark, I'll really get in there. I know. I wish I was darker. I know. Do you go by your eyebrow right here? I do, but I do these first. See, it's one thing to get in your hairline, but when your hair's violety white, it shows when you get in that hairline. Yeah. Not much you can do about that. That's so I'm about to do my nose contour. I'm using a yeah. brush I got in my Ipsy bag a while back when Me I had too. it. See, but okay, <laughs> we haven't done our makeup together in forever, and we're matching up brushes 
It's, I didn't even know you got this. I it's not this surprising. It. No, it's not. But anyways, I'm using that, and I'm going to dip it like it once. It says the name. Luxie 207 oh. Medium Angled Shading Brush. Luxie? Luxie. Okay, so I dip a little, and then I'm going to go from the brow down. Let me get a little closer. From here down like this to narrow that, that nose. That looks good. I'm going to go the other I mean, I don't have a huge nose, I would say, but I just like to make it look skinny. Come all the See, way down, you have and a then I'll ball go. on the end of your nose like me. Like, do you do you contour the ball? Then I'll go right here. I contour under the ball to make it look a little more lifted. But do you contour on the ball right here? Yeah, I kind of go. No, I wouldn't say I go oh, all the goodness, way down. Oh goodness, I went all the way down. But hopefully that looks. And then decent. I take, I get most of the product off my brush, and then I kind of just blend that. And then there is my contoured nose. Yeah. I don't like too bold of a contoured nose, but well, that's what mine is today. So it looks fine. Just make sure it's even. It's even. So highlight. We'll blend it out a little. Highlight. I'm using a fan brush today, but I use different ones all the time. And I am We're using. We're not doing blush. I don't use blush. Okay, oh, I forgot well, you do blush. This is the Nars Outlaw. Oh. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's got that shimmer and it's kind of dark. I only wear it when I'm tan, but we're going to give it a whirl. And I'm using as my highlight since I really don't like blush. Sometimes I'll wear it. Um, I I'm using the MAC Whisper of Guilt Extra Dimension Skin Finish Highlight. What a coincidence. And I love it. I Look at that too. highlight. Looky here. I'm using the same one. Sometimes I like to do a little um, spritz of this before I do my highlight. A little bit of Fix Plus. This is the oh, coconut yeah. one. It's not just pea colored for no reason. It's coconut. Oh, also for my nose Ooh. contour, what makes it look better, take a little bit, bitty brush, go down the bridge. Oh my God, I just went to the side on accident. Go down the bridge like that. Can you even see that? And then on the tip to kind of lift it. Jordan's is a little bit more lifted than mine. Oh my god. I hit that, that right there, that little brow bone a little bit. My okay. key to highlighting, if anyone were to ask me, would be to hit the places on your face where the light naturally hits. Like the yeah. highest points. Which would be cheekbones, nose, this part of the lip. Some people do right here. That's kind of new, I guess. I don't know. I'm just now seeing it. Maybe it's not new. <laughs> okay, so for brows, I usually use Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. That's what I've always used. Same with you, right? Yeah. But sometimes we venture out to pencils for quickness and also just switching it up. So Jordan found this for me, the NYX Professional Makeup Precision Brow Pencil, and I'm using the shade Blonde. I really like this. It has a double end just like the Anastasia Brow Wiz that we love. It's shaped more like the definer though. It has that thicker tip. So I'm just going to use that for my brows today. Hey, did you read? This palette's really pretty. It's the Marc Jacobs. I think this is limited edition though. No, because I've seen it in oh. Sephora. So they must have said that. 790 Fantasine Iconic. So let me open this. But it really, it has a lot of fallout. Here it is. It's really pretty new. Yeah, we love those colors, but you can't help that fall out. What should we use then? Are we going to use that? Our Modern Renaissance? Do you have Modern Renaissance? Right there. Okay. We're going to use Ride or Die right here. Modern Renaissance. My favorite palette to ever be created. Yes, I just said that. <laughs> so, let's see. We need a blend. I didn't even... Okay, I grabbed my blender. I'm going to use this Morphe M441 blending brush. I'm going to start with... Um, Raw Sienna, just a translucent. I mean, not translucent. What's it called? Transition color. Yeah. Everyone has a favorite brow, and this brow is definitely my favorite brow. This brow is an asshole. Sorry for the language, but it is. So my right contact's blurry, so when I close the right eye to do this one, I can't even see what I'm doing. <laughs> Mine do that to I'm just blending this out kind of however I want because... It's a transition color, so it's really Not, light. Yeah. You don't have to be that precise with it. And my lashes are lashes gone wild. Gosh, the struggle it is. Who else has that struggle to get your brows the same? Some people are blessed with those 
100% identical brows and some like me have to work what are y'all's views on microblading i want to yeah. know because i've thought about it but then i think well what if one day the brow trend changes and yeah like what was it the 90s when they were really thin that oh scares God. me like and then you've got that tap which i know it's semi-permanent or whatever it's like temporary yeah but like still, still it's pretty scares dark me too. and i wouldn't want to get them white then you couldn't even tell nothing was there Mm-hmm. Oh my god, I'm going almost unibrowly. Are we gonna like do drastic eyeshadow or like, No, I'm doing a lot. Like, like every, a neutral day. every day. Yeah. Hey, what's are these even? What looks different about them? They look does. pretty dang perfect to me. What do you mean? Something oh, you were looking at them so much. I was just really analyzing them for oh, you. Thank you. If y'all saw pictures of my brows a couple of years ago, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know if brouch. I was blind. Can you say brouch? Brouch. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I just did this one color, and I think I'm just going to do one more color in the crease. But I'm going to use a more precise brush. Same. I'm going to use the MAC 217 to go in deeper crease. Oh my gosh, look at that. That really took. Oh, that's gorgeous. I'm going to have to blend that out. Hardcore. I really hope this doesn't fall out. Okay, I need like Cause this a, palette, this palette doesn't cause fallout. I'm gonna do a little raw sienna and then cypress umber. Oh. I wonder if anyone knows those colors so good that they know what we were talking about if they didn't have their modern renaissance palette out. I'm sure you do. Oh yeah, this is my favorite palette. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna blend this all out again. I took the Cypress Umber and I'm just putting that in my crease right there just to kind of darken hey, it. So I'm going to, this is the only brow bone highlighter I will ever use until they quit selling it. MAC Nylon. For, it's a frost shadow. So it's got that hint of shimmer in it. Okay. I'm on my oh, I need to do brow highlight. I'm done here. Okay. Let me pop a little bit here. It's okay. We can share. Tear that. So next, I'm going to curl my lashes, and I just use any eyelash curler. It's not like I'm gonna a big deal. I'm going to use Benefit Roller Lash oh. and fix this sad lash over here. Looks like the same Benefit one. Roller Lash, but it's way past its shelf life, so time to buy a new one. I think it's like six months. So I'm using these lashes for the first time today. Like I said, we usually use Sephora Samantha's. They're my favorite. But these are the Allure Definition number 126 that Jordan just picked up for me. So we'll see how they look, but I guarantee they're not going to be up to par with the Samanthas. Up to par, yeah. Okay, so a little lash tip for lash beginners. Always let your glue that you barely put any on, first of all, get tacky before you just lay it on your eye. I know everyone knows that pretty much, but if you don't and you're new to lashes, we're here to help and just know you need to let that get tacky for like a minute before you've set that on your eye. Right, so for lips, we're gonna do, Randy just got this, it's the NYX Lip Liner in Ooh, Nude it's Beige. Okay. It's the lip pencil. And then the Too Faced Melted Matte and Holy Chic. Holy. So, look at that lasher, body. I love the way mattes look, but they're so drying that it Let's annoys me. Let's put a me. gloss over it. We wear Creme Brulee NYX Butter Gloss. Sure. It's Randy has the Morphe one that is literally a dream to put on your face. Like when I start spraying this, I don't want to lift my finger off the nozzle because it feels good. Okay, here goes nothing. Make sure you get your hair out of your way or it'll look like you showered. Sorry y'all, crisis right now, so I'm having to get right up in the mirror because these lashes are being a-holes. Or just this I feel way. like I just cried on my face because it feels like tears are running down my cheeks. This stuff is so liquidy. Okay, now that this is dried, I'm going to put on the next butter Is there off. glue on my eyeball? No. Uh-uh. Oh, that looks nice. That looks A1. You always say that. Okay, are these on? They look real. They look like knockoff Samantha. <gasps> knockoff Samantha. I knocked that I off. I caught that. <clears throat> I know, I said knockoff and you knocked it off. Really nice. 
Yeah, I love that one. It's oh my like gosh, I think a bird just hit the window. Oh my god, that background. happened one night when I was asleep, I think, or something. Birds hit don't it. fly at night, do they? Well, then it was a bat. Cause something hit what that window so hard, I thought someone threw a rock out no, through my window. Birds may fly at night. I'm thinking if a raccoon comes out during the day, he's rabbit. That's what. what I think. Raccoons are nocturnal, and I think if they come out during the day, they're rabbit. Since sure. when were you an animal pro? I'm just pretty sure that's it. Who knew? So don't don't play with a little raccoon during the day, cause you might get rabies. Evidently. <laughs> Maybe. Y'all might have to Google it. Do raccoons climb walls? <laughs> what scent keeps raccoon away? Cayenne pepper. So just sprinkle a little bit of that on your trash can and see if they go away if you're having raccoon probs. Raccoon probs. And last, I'm going to use my setting spray. The Morphe. It's awesome. Now we're done. Let's show them the full lean-in. We might do, y'all comment below what other, oh you're getting Sorry, I'm weaning you because you need to be um, in We might do like a get ready with me glam, is that what they call it? Full, like really full, full glam. glam. Yeah. But I know everyone likes some everyday thing because it's quick. I know this wasn't so quick because we were talking. That. Yeah. So, this is our get ready with us look and we hope y'all liked it and we hope y'all had fun chatting with us. Be on the lookout for our next video. It's going to be coming soon. We don't know what it is yet, but comment below yeah. what you want to see. Comment below what y'all want to see. We're open to anything reasonable. So <laughs> what? I don't mean for that to sound weird, but anyways, mm -hmm. so thank y'all. We'll see y'all later. Bye.